What's up you guys? So today I'm going to be installing the new Enon head unit in my E46. I guess I'll do a little unboxing show you what it comes with and all the little features. The little adapter for the OBD2, uh, it's actually separate. It's in the car already. I forgot to uh, bring it here to show you what it looks like, but when we're going to be installing it, I'll show you everything there. But it's nicely packaged, got nice foam, um, user manual, a prying tool. Nice. Antenna cable, uh, I think I really need to use one of these harnesses actually, not both. This is for the E30, E46 and this one is also for the E46, so I actually might need to use both. I know there's a harness that it comes with that I don't need to use. Um, here's a decoder. Yeah, this, like I mentioned before, you can actually use this. I'm on an E39 or E46, so this head unit will work with both, which is awesome. And this is what I'm going to be using since the previous owner kind of wired everything weird. I'm going to be using all these, so here's the antenna wire, the amp, um, rear out, rear left, rear in, video out, video in, subwoofer. Nothing else in the box. I'm just gonna put that aside. Um, this is the unit itself. It's a single DIN, a nine inch screen. Holy crap, that looks awesome. Um, as you can see, it comes with like a little edge that actually gonna sit nice and flush. It's just gonna like poke out a tiny bit, but the edges all around will be flush. It comes with a micro SD card that you can put in. But damn, this thing looks awesome. Okay, so what you want to do is, with the tool provided, just gently get the trim off. It will go, it's just stuck on, well it's not really stuck, but it's held on by these clips. Um, they're like metal clips, you can't really break the metal pieces, but you can break off the plastic ones that they're on. Little metal pieces right here. But yeah, two screws here and there. Let me make some room for it actually. I can put them there. And once that's off, your plate comes off. Um, I have no idea where the hell I have this wired. There's like a little bolt bulb here, but it doesn't really do anything, so it's kind of really useless. Okay, now that's off, and I'm gonna remove the radio. Now I'm gonna remove the vents so we get more excess. Okay, now when you have the vent off, you have a little bit more room to start and uh, pulling everything out. Next, what you want to do is basically remove this uh, bottom cabinet piece here, or a storage cabinet. It just comes right out. It's held on by these little clips. This thing you will not need anymore because we're going to be putting the climate change uh, system right back here. So it's, it's kind of useless now. Uh, there's two screws, one on each side. Got some weird wires running here for power, but. The main harness actually gives it power, so let's see if it actually starts up. There we go. It's working. Nice. So I have everything in now, after messing with the dude's wiring. Uh, on your cars, if the previous owner didn't mess with the wiring, it's just going to be a simple plug and play. Now the only thing that's left to do is basically just put everything back in. Okay, that's in. Nice. So unfortunately the camera died on me, and I just realized it, but I put everything back in. Putting this piece was a little bit hard. This went on easy because on the side, but this piece was hard and I kind of cracked it right there, but I was gonna like paint it and everything. So I don't really don't care. I'm probably gonna even do like a sticker bomb, but I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but it's a lot brighter in person than it is on camera. Uh, live temperatures and stuff. Also, it can tell you your zero to hundred, a eighth of a mile quarter mile and you're zero to 60 and like horsepower and all that which i'm super stoked for the horsepower because i really want to know how much the car makes now this thing's awesome i love this thing so much and the sound quality is so much better so much more improved very happy with this i definitely recommend you guys buy this this was like 200 and 
Uh, I believe I paid 240 because I wanted an OBD2 reader that, that I just showed you. Like you go here in the apps and you check your engine torque and stuff like that when it's on. So it's freaking awesome. It shows you faulty codes, uh, tests results, your graphs, your OBD2 readers and stuff, and uh, different types of plugins that you want to add. So it's really cool. Definitely something you guys should get for your E46. I think this is like the most needed mod. Um, I am reading my codes and I actually have two. They're actually for the thermostat. Um, the thermostat doesn't read how much it comes out because we kind of snipped the wrong end of it. But it still works fine. It opens at 70 uh, degrees Celsius, which is awesome. So that's the only thing that I know of, but I don't have a check engine light for it. So I really don't care. But I love how this unit looks. It's super clean, super modern. Definitely something you guys should look into. You know, I'd say it's pretty accurate. Let's see if it actually shows because there's a glare. 1800 RPM, about 10 miles an hour. Barely adding any throttle, so yeah. And coolant is about 179. Yeah, I mean, it's a little slow, but. I guess it's kind of accurate if it's reading off the ECU. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely get one of these if you have the money. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.